Hey everyone, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 10 of Monster Sanctuary for the Xbox. So in the last episode, we got some dragons. So we need to give these dra- Okay, no, we gave them the items and I think we gave them- Did we give them food? I don't remember if we gave them food, did we? No, we didn't give them food, so we can give crit damage to this guy. Actually, we'll give crit damage to both of them. We'll give them each some health. And... I guess just some defense, right? Oh. Well, you can also have some more health, I guess, for the time being until we get better items. And then we can also go and use the level badge on these guys to do that. And the skill potions, so that way... We have everything we need. So, for the time being, we need to go back to the prison cell. So, uh, I guess the quickest way would just be back here. So, we need to go down over here. So, I keep forgetting. I'm like so used to playing Persona lately that I keep pressing um, the 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 le uh, right trigger to like move faster. But that's not what this game is. So, looks like we have to go down here. Why do we have the lava blob following me anyway? Hello, guy. All right, let's see where we need to uh, what to do. Eric, you're a keeper, and we're talking about the alchemists, huh? All right. Other than that, the library. Interesting. You're quite extraordinary. Yeah, Marduk. He's hiding in the abandoned tower. Okay, interesting. Mystical workshop, key of power, abandoned tower, you know, blah, blah, blah. So wait, where are we supposed to go now exactly? So you can click talk. Primary tab, thanks, Eric. We have to find the key of power. It could be anywhere in Sanctuary. Okay, we need to go to the snowy peaks, but we technically don't have any creature that can fly yet. So I don't know if that's at all possible, but we can go and check that out. Pretty sure we're not even strong enough to take on that area of the game yet, but we'll see. We'll all see. So if we're going that way, it'll be this way. This game is pretty big. It's lengthier in certain ways than you'd think. It doesn't seem like it'd be that big yet, because we're only on, like, not very far into the series, but... Wait, isn't there something I can do to get up there? We don't have that ability yet. We can just avoid all these enemies anyway. Wait a minute. We do have the flying ability. I forgot these guys actually allow us to fly. Forgot about that, that'll be super useful. So, so see, now you can do stuff like this, where you can just stay up in the air for a while. Super useful ability. Which means that maybe we can go and find some rare schneechers. Mmm, schneechers. Pretty sure there's a secret over this way, right? Yee, caca. We already have both of you, or at least, you know, your forms. Yeah, there's a secret right here if we have the double jump. Give us a shield. Alright, and that's the very beginning of the game right there. I do like the pixel art, so these guys do have a new game coming up, but sadly it's not a, a game like this. It's like a dungeon crawler style game, which still looks really good. Like, I would never have found this game if it wasn't for Monster Sanctuary, or for Monster Sanctuary, if it wasn't for Game Pass. Yeah, Monster Sanctuary, the game that we're clearly playing, I wouldn't have known about. We got a Gauntlet 3, that's a pretty good item to get right away. Oh no, it doesn't look like we can go this way. Salahammer. I didn't even realize the music here is different, but why does he live alone with a bunch of nerdy man goblins? And I wonder what type of rare creatures we're gonna find in the snowy area. Hopefully another dragon. Well actually, the other dragon once again evolves from the same egg as, um... The ones that we currently are using, but we need a different. Oh, got spinners. 
We need a different item. And they were he was introduced, I believe, in the DLC to this game. Yeah, hello, old Beeren. Beeren, Beeren. I'm not entirely sure how to say his name, but... Yeah, we have to go to the Snowy Mountain now. Find the Oracle. Oh, we got bats and spinners, apparently. Oh, they're higher level than us. Great. Fiery shots! Oh, of course they missed. Uh, we do have the Cleansing Flame, though, which is pretty good. And I guess we can go for the Chilling Wind. Man, the poison's annoying. Well, he's dead, because he'll die to the burn next turn, and then you'll die. There we go, now it's only this guy in the middle left, which doesn't seem to be too much of a threat, honestly. Burn! Hey, we got a Nightwing! That's a new creature. That's pretty cool. Not really the most useful of creatures. Okay, to get up there, it looks like we're gonna need to go up here first. Alright, we got an item. Oh, this looks suspicious, too. Aha, it was suspicious. And gave us a blue gem. That did something. Not entirely sure what. But, let's go over here and see what item it is. Probably food. Nope, it's a hide. Those are actually useful and needed for the game, so keep that in mind. We got more strawberries, because strawberries are... Oh, is this Azerac? Yeah, it is Azerac. I don't remember what Azerac's weak to, but... Oh, uh, he's got some kind of annoying, uh... Evasion type thing going on, that's for sure. Ow, and they hurt. Oh no, they blinded us. God, the evasion... Evasion on these things is just so annoying. Like, holy cow. I need my drink that's a mile away. Let's see if Cleansing Flame gets rid of those buffs. It did get rid of one of the buffs. It's not the evasion buff. Huh. Why is it not getting rid of that one? Are we gonna lose? Yeah, two Azurax is just a little bit too strong for us right now. Plus their levels are a little high up. The music here sounds kinda sad. Hey, we're outside though, so hopefully that means we can find some new monsters to get. Hey, yeah, we can go up this little area. Oh, no, never mind, we can't... No, no, no! There was an item over there. How could ye, you scurvy dog? Uh, uh, uh. Corn! Such an interesting item to get. Oh god, remember how I said we can't take on two Azurak? Yeah, three is just a thousand times more painful than that. I landed right on the spike. Of course I did. Luckily, all you do is teleport. Landing on spikes and stuff like that don't actually cause you any harm in the game. Just reset your... Where you were you last on the ground physically without being on the spikes? Ooh! Uh, Mocus. Uh, Mocus? Mocus? Don't know how to say its name, but... The pig enemy. Uh, we don't have anything super effective against these guys, though. That sucks. Chill is honestly more useful on, um... Uh, what's it called? Um, on... Like, in Wi-Fi battle type things. Oh, it healed them. Um. We need to... we need to heal up our guy. There we go. Then we just gotta kill one of them off right now. That way they don't just keep killing us. Cleansing Flame! Like, we're just not doing a lot of damage. That's for sure. None of our abilities are... 
strong against these guys, which really suck. Great, now we're blinded. Which really doesn't help with the case. Tackle, and whatever the- Darn it! You weren't actually supposed to kill me, game. There, I lost whatever buff that was that he had on him. Um... I guess I'll just do that, because I really don't have anything else to use. Oh yeah, yeah, this is just ridiculous. There we go, we actually killed him, holy cow. Oof. Okay, these creatures are really annoying. They'd all be really good to have, but still nothing particularly good for a team. Oh, Echoes are easy to beat, though. Echoes? I always call them Echoes, they're Nightwings. Oh. <gasps> it's our dragon buddy! He's back! That's pretty cool. And I guess we'll just use Avalanche. That way it hits everybody. God, that dragon just keeps dying so rapidly fast it's not even funny. And I don't even know why. Alright, at least he's dead. Can you stop killing the dragon in the back, please? This is getting really annoying at this point. Don't kill him in the back, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. We didn't get any eggs, but we did get some XP, I guess. I kind of want to switch the dragons around, because... Hang on, what did I do for you, though? I made you magical. Okay, you're magical, and you're physical, right? Yeah, you're physical. Hmm. 2% for every buff on this monster. Hmm. I guess we'll do that, right? I didn't even think about that. He's supposed to technically buff. So yeah, we'll do that, because if we buff him... I, for I always forget to use buffs in this game, I don't know why. When I, like, when I'm playing casually, I remember, but when I'm, like, doing a Let's Play or a playthrough or something like that for YouTube, I completely forget. I'm pretty sure these platforms crumble? Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I was thinking of the right platforms before we did anything stupid. Also, oddly suspicious, a Bracelet 3, that'll be pretty good. Ooh, the Seahorse guy! Uh, I think they start with an- oh, it's Talk Swiss. I thought it started with an A, I don't know why. Okay, you're weak to that. Um, I forgot to use the buffs again, for whatever reason. Yeah, so we'll use Quicken, which doesn't really apply a lot of buffs, but it applies some buffs. Oh, we didn't end up burning the gun in the background. Okay. At least now he should be stronger. Alright, we'll do this to remove the buffs from him, and then kill this guy. I don't think Talkwist is a very good, uh, creature, though. I don't think it'll be worth having on our team. Despite not even getting its egg anyway. Guess it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, an Azurak. Just one singular Azurak this time, though. These guys are level 19. Jeez. Alright, I guess we'll use Whirlwind. And Lightning Slash! Ooh, that's a lot of damage. He'll die next turn. Oh, uh, the blinding of that guy, though. That's just annoying. Now, that does a lot more. Then we can remove any buffs this guy has. And slash him down! I do not like the blinding, though, game go. It's not there we'll go. There we go. Alright, this doesn't look too, too bad. Looks like we should have this in the bag. And there we go. Now, getting an Azurak would be cool. Or not. Who wants a good, strong creature, right? Oh, look, a diamond block. Be cool if we could break into that. Bronze. That's kind of a really odd item to get. 
trolls. Trolls are pretty good. They're level 20, which is annoying. And they're weak to fire. Just any fire, so that's good. And there we go. Man, these guys are annoying. Go for Avalanche. Just to get it off, I guess. And kill time! Trolls do a lot of damage, but they're not very bulky themselves. Ugh. I really wish one of you guys was actually, you know, better at dealing with certain things. Ugh. There we go. You should die next turn. Man, everything always does so much damage, it's not even funny. Okay, you'll die. He didn't die, really? I believe he actually survived that. That's crazy. At least that killed something for once. There, that should be good XP. I can't actually tell if that was good XP or not. And we got silver. Oh yeah, that's a Commodore, and I forgot what the birds are. But those guys I think are like 30? 25, something like that. We're definitely not strong enough to take them on yet. Uh, nature. Do we have nature? I'm pretty sure you're nature. Yeah, you're earth orb. I gave us a verdant gem. I guess that makes sense, considering it was a nature one that we opened up. Ugh. Ugh. Eh, this looks suspicious. One of these is suspicious. Or apparently not at all suspicious. <gasps> Ooh! These are the evolution of a creature we haven't seen yet. These are Mag Magma Moth. Which is funny, because it's not even like a, a really unique thing or not. It's just kind of whatever, right? Oh, the burns. Despite not actually doing much, because they're uh, fire type, so... Ice Claw! Here, you can go in, I guess, deal with that. And then you can go for the Long Slash. Nice. Oh, just don't kill him, please. I don't want him to die. He's too young to die. There we go, the double kill. And there we go, Magma Pillar Egg. Yeah, those all will evolve into... Do we actually hatch the goblin? Okay, no, we didn't hatch the goblin that we got. I'm tempted to bring a goblin team, because these dragons... They're fine, but they're not really doing anything. Now, do we have any ice? Wait, water. No, that doesn't work. No, those are ice anyway. Pretty sure we don't have the ice ability. We do, but... Wait, does that actually reach that far? Oh, it does! Mango. All that for mangoes? Who the heck wants mangoes, man? Wait, how do I get that if... What, can I actually jump and do that? No, you can't. So how am I supposed to do that exactly? That's weird. You can't actually physically do that. That's interesting. Oh god, spikes everywhere. I guess we'll just keep going up here. Oh. Weak enemies. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll use our ability here. Let's go for you. And go for you. And there we go, we got the burn on multiple enemies. Of course. Right, like, why wouldn't it? There we go. Our dragon, I think, is gonna die. Yep, especially after that. That sucks. So bad. <laughs> At least took them out. Now this is one of these guys, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. And there we go. Oh, we got the Toxquis egg, too. And, and he leveled up, which means we can now get Fiery Shots level 4 and Lightning Slash level 4. And we can get Defense Overload, so the more defense he has, the more attack he has. Ooh, and what's this? Apply Burn at the start of combat. And an attack buff, that's pretty good. Which means then, too, we can use the um, level badge on these two. 
to get them up higher. So now they're strong. I think they gain stats when they level up, right? It's not just based off of like what power their moves are. At least I think that's how it works. All right, we got some random platforms over here that clearly require the greater levitate ability, so... Leather. Huh. Not at all what I was expecting, but... Cool. Scepter. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Invisible platforms? Not you. Um... Which one is it? Thanatos. Aha! Sneaky! 5,000 gold, okay. Not at all what I was expecting to find, but... Still useful. Magmoth and Marcus. Okay, Marcus would be good because it's a mount enemy. And we literally just straight up weakened that guy right at the beginning. That was crazy. So good. Alright, you're dead. Not gonna lie, this dragon just really isn't doing anything. Like the one in the middle there, he is kinda weak, wouldn't you say? I'm not really finding him doing all that much for us, which is really sad. Well, at least we beat him this turn, so that's good. And there we go, we beat them. And we didn't get one of them as an egg. Hey, a bridge. I'm pretty sure this bridge is huge. It's the biggest bridge in the game. Yahoo! We're flying through the air with the greatest of ease, cause we're flying and flying and flying and flying. Oh, this leads us somewhere. Uh, well, looks like we got some more platforming to do here. Ooh! That's a tar blob! That's another new creature! Alright, they're weak to ice for whatever reason. And you're weak to this. And might as well. There we go, Talkwist is down. So it can't poison us in the background. Despite this guy in the middle giving us the burns. Huh. <laughs> Alright, Tar Blob's down. Tar Blob actually has a very unique ability in this game. That'll become very useful later on. This thing's just doing annoying amounts of damage. Ugh, die. Ah, we didn't get a single one. But our dragons did get to level 20. So we can get Cleansing Flame level 2. War or yeah, level three. That life overload. The more health we have, the more damage we do. All right, that's pretty useful. We can get some increased defenses, increased crit. What's this do? Is this magical? It's physical. Aerial strike. Is this physical? And then I guess we can get. Oh, we don't have any skill points anyway. Never mind. And then for you, we can get the icy claws level two. As well as the mana overload. Oh yeah, we do have a lot of mana, and then we do have the buff. So hopefully that means we are now stronger. Oh wait, no, we did use the goblin. He's right here. He's only level 18, sadly, but whatever. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we'll be dealing with this house. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.